Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay. So this question belongs to GATE CSC 2008 guys. Okay. So the question is a 1 MBBS satellite connected to ground stations. Okay. So this question is a type of a confusion question guys. I am being clear with it. So the thing is you should concentrate while reading these questions guys because there will be some silly silly hints which you should observe. If you miss them the answers will be completely different. Okay. Yes. So let us start. So what they are saying the bandwidth is a 1 Mbps right. Yes. And they are saying there is one satellite which is connecting two ground stations. So this is our satellite. This is our station 1. This is our station 2. So it is going to be as a mediator in between, right? Yes. Okay. So the altitude of the satellite is a 36508. So this distance is a 36504. This distance is a 36504. Okay. And the speed of the signal is that is nothing but yes, speed is equals to 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second. Okay. So what should be the packet size? For the channel utilization, so they give the channel utilization here for a satellite link using go back 127 window size. So they indirectly give the n value as a 127 guys. That is nothing but a window size. So that is a 127, right? Yes. So assume that the acknowledgement packet and everything are negligible. Got it? Yes. So let us start. So basically what type of question is it guys? It is the same fashion question which depends on efficiency, right? Yes. So if you recall what is the formula guys, that is nothing but efficiency is equals to the window size divided by 1 plus 2 into TP by TT. Okay. So if you recall what is the efficiency value, it is a 1 by 4 equal to what is the window size, it is a 127 divided by 1 plus 2 into what is the value of TP guys. So what is a TP? TP is a nothing but so recall speed is equals to distance by time time is equals to distance by speed okay so it is a nothing but a distance by speed so what is our distance it is total right so it is a 360 sorry 36504 plus 36504 I need to go both the ways right so it is a 73008 okay so that is a nothing but a 73008 kilometers so i think it will be better if i convert to meters right yes so into 10 power 3 meters divided by speed that is a 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second so for easy calculation let us convert it into milliseconds guys which is a nothing but into 10 power 3 milliseconds so this m this m will cancel here 6 here you will left out with a 2 okay so that is a nothing what 73008 divided by 300 right yes so it is a nothing but 243.36 243.36 millisecond right yes similarly what about a tt so basically what is tt guys a tt is a nothing but a length by bandwidth so i think oh they did not give the length just give me a second Bandwidth they give. What about length of the particular packet? Okay. So then did they give the transmission time value? Assume that the acknowledgement are negligible in size. Uh, okay. Uh, am I missing anything? So let me cross check the question again guys. They, they, they gave the distance, uh, speed, uh, utilization. Okay. Okay. So they did not give it. So just to give me a second guess, I think there is something mistake here. So they give the bandwidth here, okay. Okay. Distance they give. Speed they give. 25% utilization they told. 127 uh, sliding window protocol they told. Okay, so just to give me a second. Okay, sorry, my bad. I don't know what I was thinking. What we need to find in the question, guys. So we need to find that packet length only, right? Then how come they will be giving in the question? It took me solid one minute to think like what what is missing what i am missing i'm just checking and just i found that uh, that's what they asked in the question right yes okay so okay so we'll be we have the numerator right which is a nothing but a 243 right 243.36 divided by what is a tt tt is a nothing but a length by bandwidth right 
so it is nothing but length by bandwidth means in denominator you will have length and bandwidth will be multiplied here right yes into bandwidth is a 1 m b p s so for now i am writing in this way let us shuffle them and let us uh, uh, set them properly and let us understand it then guys because if i try to write the full forms it will be a bit clumsy right yes so let us send this whole part this side and this below part that side so what it will be it is a nothing but l by l plus okay 2 into let me multiply it is equals to oh sorry my bad let me multiply it with into 300 okay so i got the exact value right yes so i'll be multiplying it with the 2 okay so into 2 so my answer is 486.72 okay so it is in milliseconds right yes so milliseconds into 1 mbps okay so on the other hand it is a 127 into uh, 127 into uh, 4 right yes which is a nothing but a 508 l so let us send this l also to the other side okay so let us start solving so basically you can subtract from here right so it is a nothing but a 507 l is equals to 486.72 millisecond into 1 mbps so basically it is a nothing but let us start so 486.72 millisecond okay into what is a 1 m guys from m i need to come to k from k i need to come to uh, normal bits right yes so it is a nothing but 10 power 6 right yes so 10 power 6 okay into so in a denominator we will have milliseconds right yes sorry seconds right yes so m b is nothing but bits so in question they asked in terms of in options they gave in terms of bytes so let us concentrate about it okay so this is in bits for now divided by in seconds so basically divided by second so one second is nothing but uh, 10 power 3 milliseconds right so just to cancel this millisecond part okay so it is a nothing but 3 sir it becomes a 10 power 3 okay so it is a nothing but uh, 486.72 into 1 3 is right yes i don't know why exactly i converted it to milliseconds because it just created that confusion that's it okay yes so if i send this this part this side it will become a 507 divided by so at the end i got a 960 as my result guys okay so l it is nothing but 507 l so the value of l is a 960 bits okay so if i want to convert it into bytes i will divide it by 8 so i got 120 so it is a 120 bytes so is there any option yes option a is the correct answer got it yes so always uh, these uh, networking questions are really easy guys uh, the only thing is uh, you should know the formula properly and uh, write down what they are asking guys so basically as they asked us uh, what is the length right and i was confused like uh, it took me around two minutes to identify basically they are asking the packet size only so that is the reason why when you write the data along with that write what you are searching also because it will reduce the confusion okay yes so now you got an idea right so just with the help of formula by just converting we were able to solve the question okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you